it's Sonia from Blackstone Designs, and today we're making the Bayside Tank. This video is intended to supplement the Bayside Tank pattern that is free on my website. There is also an option to purchase an ad-free version in my shops. Links will be in the captions below. If you're finding this video hard to follow, please refer to the written pattern. Let's get started. First, we're gonna make our slip knot, of course, and start chaining. For the doll size, we're doing a chain four. And then we're going to turn and we're gonna work in the back bump of the chains. So here's the top of the chain. You flip it over and you have these bumps, one, two, and three is in there. So you're gonna single crochet across the back bumps. And then you chain one and turn. And then you're gonna work in the back loop only. So here's your single crochets, and when you turn them upward, you can see these little V's on top. So one's the front loop, one's the back loop. So we're gonna single crochet across the back loop only. Chain one turn. So you're going to continue working this ribbed bottom band piece until you reach the measurements as listed in the pattern. Now I'm making my Bayside tank for an 18 inch doll. And so I'm going to measure around her chest to find out how long I need the bottom ribbed band piece to be. So we'll just wrap this right around. We can even lift up her arms here. She's a little over 10 inches around. So I want this piece to be this wide. Even though it's gonna come down here at the thinner part, I want it to be as wide as her chest is. Okay, now that we have the band to our desired length, we need to join it together. We'll chain one and turn, and then we will pull the short ends of the band together, matching up each stitch. So here's the first stitch on this side, and you're gonna work through both loops. First stitch on this side, like this. second and second, third and third. So we're gonna get into our loop here, match up the first stitches, do a slip stitch. Get into the second stitches, slip stitch. And then again with the third. Okay, so now you're over here like this. You're going to do a chain one, and then you're gonna flip the band around. So now your seam is here on the inside. You're gonna single crochet around in the end of each row. Okay, now that we have the band done and we've single crocheted around the end of each row, we're going to join our next color, if you are changing colors, which I am. You insert your hook in the next stitch, your joining stitch, and you actually pull up the new color and you bring it through and like you're doing a slip stitch right through the old working loop. Tighten that down a little. Now we can clip this, but leave it long because you're going to want to weave that in. And now you will begin working the main body instructions. Starting with the same stitch that you just joined in, you're going to half double crochet two times. Then you're going to skip one stitch, 
and you're going to two half double crochet again. And I'm working over the loose tails, but I will not work over them completely. So maybe about halfway, that way you still have some that you can weave back in to secure the ends. Which there is a tutorial on my blog if you need to know how to properly weave and secure your yarn tails. So you get your two half double crochet, you're gonna skip one, two half double crochet, skip one, two half double crochet, skip one, around, all the way around, you're gonna keep doing this. And then we're down to the last three stitches. Skip one, two half double crochet, skip the last, slip stitch to join in the first half double crochet that you made for this round. You're going to chain and then you're going to skip the stitch that you just slip stitch and joined and you're going to start working over the top of the second half double crochet. Two half double crochet. Skip this first half double crochet and work into the second one of the set. One, two. Skip this first half double crochet when you have a set of two in one stitch, you get your loops here, and that's the stitch it belongs to. Loops here, this is the stitch it belongs to. So skip that first one and work into the second one. Skip one, work into the second one. Skip one. Work into the second one, all the way around. No. Okay, now we're down to the last two stitches. Skip that one, work into the last stitch, and then slip stitch to join in the first half double crochet of this row. Now, if you're planning to change colors every two rows as I do, you're not gonna wanna complete the slip stitch until you've drawn up your new color. All right, so again, you're gonna grab the new yarn. Some people like to make the slip knot and, and pull it in. I don't do that. I just grab it and pull it through. Okay, and that's the old working loop, so you're gonna wanna pull that tight. I always bring it over here to work over the top of it for at least a few stitches so that it will hold it secure in place. Now, again, we skip where we just pulled up the slip stitch and the new yarn color because we want to work in the second half double crochet. Two, skip one, two half double crochet, skip one, two half double crochet. Okay, and then two half double crochet in the last, and then we will do the slip stitch to join. Okay, and you will keep working the rows just like this until you get to the measurement as listed in the pattern. Okay, so now we're done with the main portion of the body. And we are going to add the little top front panel piece. Now, personally, I don't like to seem to be showing really. So I flip that and make that the side seam. So it kind of run down the side as it would in a normal shirt and it kind of hides it under your arm or under the doll's arm. 
So we will flip it. Either way, it doesn't matter which side you have it on. So that we have our front panel piece. So we're gonna skip the four, one, two, three, four, and join in the fifth stitch to start the front panel. I have told you in the pattern how many to skip per size. So when I say, you know, skip nine stitches, you're gonna start at the one that's on the very, here's my seam. This is the very first stitch of my seam, after my seam, one, two, three, four. You're joining in the next stitch. You're gonna skip those and join in the next. Now here, you are joining in a second half double crochet. So we're going to work in the same stitch as the join. And we're gonna work exactly like we were. One, two half double crochet, skip 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 one, right? We're gonna skip one and two half double crochet. So this is the start of the panel. You're going to chain one and turn. And once you turn, you want to work into the first half double crochet. If you work here, it's gonna throw off the half double crochet. So you want to make sure that you're still working in the second half double crochet, but it's the first when you turn it. So one, two. And you can really tell because it looks like maybe you've chained or something between stitches. So you know that one that's kind of in the open gap in the middle is the one you're skipping. Now you're leaving that last one unworked, which will feel a little wonky, but it won't be once we do the finish. Now, if you're only working with one color, you won't need to break the yarn. You'll just chain one turn so that you're working around the outside, the front side. But I am changing colors. So I am fastening off this front panel. Then I'm gonna turn it over. I'm personally going to join my yarn to the top of the seam so that I can continue to hide my color change seam underneath. Um, you can join to any stitch you want if you're changing colors, including that corner. And then you're going to single crochet in every stitch around both half double crochets, but you're also going to work in the end of every row. So I have two rows here on this side. So I'm gonna single crochet in there. Keep your tension a little bit looser so that you don't cinch it up. And then you're gonna work every stitch across the top. Okay, in the end of both rows. I just break right into the middle of the half double crochet. And then in every stitch, back to the first single crochet that you made. Okay, and that is every stitch. So you're going to then slip stitch in your first single crochet. You can do the invisible join if you prefer. I'm being a little lazy this time. I don't feel like taking those extra steps, but you can do that for every color change um, as well. But I'm just gonna do the old done. Now we're going to make the straps. I'm going to stick with the original ribbon color so that I can kind of tie it all back in. So, slip stitch, 
and we're gonna just work some more of this ribbing. It's just gonna be a little bit shorter. And you need to make two straps. So one, two, three, four. Let's get this out of the way. Again, turn it so we're working in the back bump of the chains. This keeps the ends of the straps uniform. So you have the V-shaped front loop, back loop on both sides. So that's the top of the single crochets, but that's the top of the chains and they look exactly the same. Makes it neater and cleaner and easier to work with when you've got to sew it on. So chain one turn and we are going to work single crochets in the back loop only until we get to the instructed measurement. Okay, once we have the strap done, we're going to slip stitch all the way around. So we're gonna work in the end of each row, across to each stitch, up the other side in the end of each row, and across each stitch on the top. And these slip stitches around the outside help prevent your straps from overstretching. But I am going to give myself a nice long tail for sewing. And I'm gonna pull my stitch right out. You can knot that corner if you want, not necessary because you're going to be sewing. So we're going to match the strap up with the corner of that front panel that we added. So I have stitches one, two, three, and one, two, three, and I wanna match those up. So I'm gonna come through this, which is the third stitch, and I'm gonna work back towards the corner. And down through this third stitch, and I'm just gonna do a little whip stitch. You can do whatever seaming you prefer. I just find this little whip stitch so easy. Okay. And then come through here. And I will go through it a couple of times just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. Keeping this flat, one, two, three, four stitches and one, two, three, four stitches. Okay, we're gonna flip it so we can see the back. Now, we don't want it to come directly flat. We kind of want to off-center it a little. From flat back, I probably just moved over one stitch. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. Work right through, matching up the stitches. Okay. And then we're going to make a second strap and do the same exact thing, okay? And there we have the Bayside Tank.